Twice a week, this bus makes its way across Antananarivo, Madagascar's capital. But there are no passengers on board. The real journey starts upon arrival at Ivato City Hall, where young people are learning to code. After a dozen lessons, they've already been able to create a computer game. The ball must touch the pole to score points. If the ball stays on the pole for a long time, the score goes up. But if the ball doesn't stay long, the score only goes up a little bit. For the past year, volunteers have been teaching basic coding using equipment mostly donated by telecoms company Airtel. For the programme's director, knowing how to code has become an essential life skill. They could become engineers, or if not, there are many other careers being created each year when it comes to new technologies. So they could create a startup that could solve any problem. Or like us, they could also raise awareness, teach others how to code. 14 year old Tiana sees a bright future thanks to what she's learning on the course. I don't have a computer at home, but I do go to a cyber cafe twice a week. I surf the internet, go on Facebook, and play Need for Speed. When I grow up, I'd like to create something, create computer games, cartoons, and also have a computer. About 500 children from five of the capital's suburbs were able to attend the free course for three weeks. The programme's volunteers hope coding will soon become part of the country's education system, laying the foundations for a new computer-savvy generation.